In Power Pages, if you ever wanted to be able to click on a specific item and have it redirect to another page for your editing and updating experience, well, we've gotten that question a lot. So Haley's going to join me today and she's going to give you a quick overview of how to configure Power Pages to do that because, well, I'm not smart enough to teach you about it. So, sound like fun? Then let's just switch over to her desktop and take a look. Hi, I'm Haley, and I'm back with another Power Pages video. Thank you to those of you that watched the whole 45 minutes of the other one. I know it was really long, but thanks for sticking through it, and thanks for asking such great questions, which is what I'm here with today. So, one of the comments was asking how to see a list of items, and when the user selects Edit, redirect to a new web page and see the item there that they can edit. So that's what we're gonna build today. So if we remember what we did last time, I have this view events, but that goes to a calendar. And so I want to add just a page that shows a list of events. So I'm gonna add a page. I named this page list of events, and now I'm on my page. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit list. And you're gonna go, you're gonna need to do new list. We're gonna find that same table and we're gonna select active event details and we're gonna name this event details list view. I need to add a number two, but you can add, yours should be fine with just list. Um, that's from me testing, so. I have a list, I'm gonna sync and preview that. All right, so now you can see I have this list, but there's nothing I can do with it. I can't click it, I can't edit it, I can't do anything. It's just a list. And just to show you, you know, this is community cool pool kickoff event and a test. And here's my event calendar, which shows my test and community pool kickoff event. So great, my list is working. So next I wanna be able to select one of these records and go to a web page and view the details of that, web, of that record and update them. So I'm gonna go back to Designer Studio and I am going to go to list and I'm gonna edit list and I'm gonna look at actions. Now there's a bunch of actions that you can do on the list. So I can create a new record, I can download list contents, I can view the details, I can edit the record and I can delete the record. I'm gonna to wanna to edit the record so I'm gonna turn that one on. And then here you can see that we have some options. I want to redirect to a web page, but I don't have that web page available to me. So I'm going to need to be able to create that before I set this up. So let me cancel out of this and I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to call it event details. I'm going to add that. And now this is my event details page. And you know what, I, I don't want it in this header. So I'm gonna click these three dots and I'm gonna say move to other pages. So all of the pages under other pages are not going to show in your header and everything up here in the main navigation will show up here in the header. So I'm on the event details and now I need to create a form for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit form and you can see that, that I have some of these down here that I've been working on. We're gonna ignore those, but we are going to choose, uh, we want to do a new form, but based on our existing create form. So we're gonna do new form and we're gonna choose the same table. And then here, I want this Copilot event details. And you'll notice that this is name your copy of the selected form. So this is copying this form and making a new independent form specifically just for updating. So I'm gonna make this one named update because I get confused when names aren't, they're all over the place. So this is gonna be my update copilot event details. I've already created that one, so I'm just gonna add a two. You probably shouldn't have to. So now I'm gonna hit data. So this data, and this is where you'll need to, you have to switch it. So our original form created something. This one is going to be updating an existing record. And then on submit, I'm going to want to redirect back to the list of events. I want to turn these captures off and I don't care about attachments. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So if I sync this and I preview this, you can see that it just actually took me to the event details page. So I got to start from the list of events and you can see that it's not fully refreshed. So let me sync and maybe I didn't. 
All right, preview. All right, let me look back at my list, make sure that I set that up right. Oh, I didn't. I didn't set it up right. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how I got there. So I, again, my list still didn't have anything. So I came back over here and I went to my list of events page and I went to my list and I did edit list. And in the actions, I want the edit record. So I need to turn that on. And instead of form, I want web page and I want event details. And I want the label to say edit. So then I'm gonna hit done. There we go. So now that has the little drop down that I need. So let me sync now and let me preview now. All right. <laughs> so now I have this drop down that gives me this edit. And when I click edit, it redirects me and I have all of my events details. Uh, let's say I wanna update this to be $25 and I can hit submit. And now if I go back and hit edit again, you can see my fee has been updated to $25. So now we have our list of events. You can click it, click edit. It redirects you over here. You have all of your details that you can update and you didn't have to use any code, which my traditional thought pattern goes to code really quickly, but there's actually kind of, there's enough that we can do inside of the designer studio that we should always try to do it there first and then go to code if we have to. But in this particular instance, we didn't need to. We just needed to redirect to a different page. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. All right, thank you, Haley, for that. That was a lot of fun. Um, just a quick answer to a common question that we've gotten a bunch. Remember, Haley's got a live Power Pages Jumpstart class coming up. Her and Anthony are going to teach it. It's a three-day live course. Check that out over at training.powerapps901.com. And of course, if you just need Haley to help you fix your Power Pages site, she can do that, right? We've got a whole team of experts that can get on anywhere with 30 minutes to months and year-long projects with you. We do all of that. All right, with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day.